today we're here at Chaos Strength Gym for England's Strongest Man Under 80 Kilo. Top six qualifying for Britain's Strongest Man, so everyone's fighting for a place. We've got 20 of the best guys in England going head to head today over five events. So the first event will be axle overhead. They've got a choice of weight on this axle. Um, they can go, I think, 100 kilo and 120 kilo. Um, my top picks on this, probably a new lad called Tom Hume, a very good overhead lifter and a very experienced lifter in Tommy Chivers. They're my top two picks for that. We'll then go into a 15 inch deadlift on an axle. Again, two weight choices. Uh, the higher weight choice always beating the lighter weight choice. Um, picks on this, probably World's Strongest Twins, Tim and Joe, fantastic deadlifters, world record holders as well. And a new lad, uh, coached by MST Systems called Rich Molnar, really, really good deadlifter. Um, so look out for those, those three lads on this event. Um, probably going to go very high in the double figures um, for reps. <laughs> then going to go into a farmer's walk. It's 45 metres, 100 kilo per hand. Uh, lots of drop turns involved in this. Um, so it's a speed event, but they're going to have to be really careful with the drop and turn because uh, that's where people will probably lose a lot of time. Uh, top picks on this, Tommy Chivers again, um, experienced head, but really good at Farmer's War. Always used to be at Farmer's War, um, actually, which was heartbreaking. So yeah, I'd look out for him on this. And then, to be honest, anyone, anyone who's fast, you, it, 100 kilo isn't as hard to hold. They've just got to be quick. Well, then moving to a sandbag toss, I think over this four and a half meter height. This is heavy today, it's going up to 22 kilo, or 22 and a half kilo, which is, I think, heavier than the world's strongest man under eight kilo weight. So anyone that hits that uh, 22 and a half kilo bag will win this event, I'm, I can guarantee that. And then the last event, which is gonna be grueling at the end of a really tough day, is a 120 kilo sandbag carry for distance. Um, I haven't got a pick for this because it's just a guts event. Like, anyone can, anyone can win this, they've just got to show a bit of heart. Um, your hamstrings are going to be screaming, your glutes are going to be screaming, lower back's going to be screaming. So they're just going to have to guts it out and obviously the winner of that event will probably win England's strongest man under 80 kilos. Going to be an awesome day, really looking forward to it and looking forward to some fresh blood coming through and um, seeing who takes the title of England's strongest man. Oh, the under 80 kilo scene's booming so I've been in the under 80 kilo scene since, since it started basically in this country. Um, it used to be sort of struggle to get 10 competitors to compete, a, a, even a national title, I'm talking Britons as well. Uh, it was hard to find 10 decent competitors. Now it's hard to pick a top 10. Um, the standard is that good. Um, ever since Official Strongman got involved with this, it's been growing and growing and growing. And um, I can't wait to see where it goes and hopefully I'll get myself back into it at some point. <laughs>
Hi, my name is Rich Molnar. I'm 25 years old from Preston in Lancashire. Deadlift, because um, it's a short, short range of motion, uh, I think you can get up to sort of 20-ish. Um, I'll get, to the, get through the first 10, see how much time I've got, uh, see how everybody else is doing as well. Um, I know what I've done in training, but on the day it's different. I'm, I think I was sort of top six in the first event. Um, quite a lot of guys, no reps in the, in the, uh, the overhead. Uh, I think they, they, uh, they, they got a bit too confident after pressing the, the weight in training once. Um, so yeah, I got two reps in the overhead, uh, that was as well as I've done in training, uh, so uh, I think that was top six. I don't think I'll win the show, uh, just because I have a couple of weaknesses. Uh, the overhead event isn't my best, uh, and neither is throwing. But I think uh, top six is definitely possible, uh, depending on how deadlift, farmers and the sandbag carry for max distance goes. Uh, I think the podium is possible. Deadlift next, so it's 255, 15 inch axle for dead, uh, for rep, should be pretty reppy really. It's going to be a yeah, high number yeah. isn't it somewhere, so it's going to take a few But that, that's another reason why I'm so happy to do well on the overhead, because it means we'll be going later on, hopefully I'll have a little bit of idea what other people are hitting. If you if you don't do well on the overhead and you're going early on, then you've just got to you go max out, right? out haven't yeah. you? And that's, which for some of the events coming later on, that's not what I want to really be doing. We probably won't be able to do anyways, but... Second, I got 17, winner got 18. So, a fair play to Rich, we we'll set that. What do you get? 13. 13 for me. What, did Lewis get 15? Lewis got 15, so got four for you. Four for me, I presume. So, I'm buzzing with that because that's a tough event for me. I don't like that variation. So. It was awful, that variation. <laughs> Only does it like cop. Can't do it in training. I'll do it with that. <laughs> Literally cannot do it in training. But, no, buzzing at that, it's just like, it's two seconds for me. So, in terms of consistency overall. So, after two events, our top 
three are Tim Dalglish, Lewis Blackwood and Tommy Chivers. And there's only two points separating all three of them, so it's everything to play for for the podium spots. Farmers up next, so it's 100, is it? 100 kilo for meant to be 45 metres, but I think it's a 13 metre track, so three, three pickups. Yeah. Um, again, hopefully, it should be a pretty close event, I think, with a lot of guys going around, probably around 20 seconds, I'd say. Um, should be pretty yeah, should close. be a speed event this one, shouldn't it? So, yeah. got a bit of a break now, with Josh going for the world record on the dumbbell, so got a bit of recovery and food. Um, Days, really. I've heard rumours that Flash is going to misload it for him, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Incredible, mate. Yeah. It's good. The comp's going really well. I think I'm gonna have you done all the uh, this event. So coming into to this event, uh, I sat in second. Uh, I think I've done really well there on the farmers. Uh, I needed to uh, make sure my job and turn was quick. Uh, yeah, I think it went really well. What do you mean goal for you today at this comp? Oh, that's come top three in this competition. So we just finished the uh, farmer's walk there, 100 kilo per hour and 45 metres, some incredibly impressive times there. I think Ch Tommy Chivers winning in about 16 seconds, probably move quicker than quite a lot of people can run 45 metres, to be honest. Like, it's really impressive, so um, make sure you get watching that because there were some great races as well, a lot of hype in the building. Uh, Going to move on to the bag toss now. It's 16 kilo to 22 kilo, uh, five bags, I think, over four and a half metres. So it's pretty much the world's strongest man under 80 kilo bag run. Um, so I think a fast four bags will do very well here because to get that 22 kilo bag over, you're gonna have to be going some. Um, it's a big ask, especially fourth event into a comp. Um, it's run pretty quickly today as well, so the, the guys will be feeling it. So um, be very impressed if someone gets that 22 kilo over, but I'm looking for a fast four here uh, for good points. Ooh, I'm thinking twins, uh, Tim, and, Tim and Joe Dalglish, uh, Josh Lancaster, very good bag toss. Um, they're the ones that I see training in a lot, so um, that that who my money would be on. But you know, there's been some very impressive uh, performances from people that I've not seen much training from. So just looking forward to it. Should be very good. I'm happy with my own performance. Not made any mistakes. Just other lads have been better than me, quicker than me, done more reps than me. So I don't know where I am overall, but solid enough in terms of my performance. Yeah. Not made any mistakes, so I can't really sort of complain at this stage. Are you saying Tim? Yeah, good. There or thereabouts, I think a second, second, fourth, I think. Uh, it's pretty consistent. Bag throw up next. 
pretty tough to be honest. Very um, tough back row. I think it'll be a hard one this. You know, the weights are going, I think it's 11, 14, 16, 18, 20, is it 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, yeah. 26 or something. It's, it's heavy. heavy. Over 4.5 outside, it's difficult. Um, what kind of times or what, can I, what are you expecting from the rest of the athletes here? I you think the 18 and 20 bags will be where it's decided. I'd be very surprised. Yeah. Anyone gets 22.6 so out here after all them bags, it'd be impressive. Um, it's quite far, the bags are set up quite far away from the warm ups, so you've got to make sure you get the right position. It'll be tough. Four events in, everyone's pretty tired now. Yeah. Um, I think it could be pretty dead. So it could be a couple of people sort of splitting the points here in between as well that maybe haven't performed as well in the earlier events. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. I think you might be joint second. Sounds about right. Tommy did Tommy won the farmers. Tommy won the farmers. Rich beat you by one and you were point ahead of him. Yeah. So got the event winning the deadlift. Uh, I was third on the farmers but uh, finished ahead of the twins, so I was really happy with that. I think you joined second overall now, Tim. Yeah, yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. I'm really yeah, really pleased with that. Um, I'm accepting that I'm gonna drop a few points on throwing. Um, and then try and make them back up on the bike carry for max distance. Yeah. Yeah, feel good for that. Best outcome for today would be a podium. Yeah. Um, if I got that, I would be over the moon. But I'm looking on course for top six, and that, that, that'll do me. That should be in Britain. You want to get to Britain during the grand finals this year? Yeah, Brits, Brits events suit me a lot better, so if I can get there, there should be uh, quite a secure podium rather than a bit of a sketchy one. Yeah, my name's Tommy Chivers. I'm 35. Uh, I'm a strong man from Kent. I'm co owner of Lion Strength Gym. So yeah, 2019 OSG was my last strongman comp. Uh, the goal there was just finish top 10. Um, so to get eighth, I was really, really happy with. And that was my last strongman comp. So this is like, yeah, this is like the comeback comp for me. It's a good day so far. Uh, took a win in the overhead, uh, 120 axle, uh, six reps. Um, fifth or sixth in deadlifts. That was always gonna be sort of the event I was gonna struggle in. So I kind of knew the, what reps the top boys had got. So it was just, just trying to get somewhere near that, you know, yeah. top of the mid pack, and took a win in farmers. Um, <laughs> I actually slid the farmers into my ankle on the warm up, so that was a painful, painful event. I think the, the pain got me through that. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with where I am at the moment. So I've got a one point lead over Tim. I believe it's Tim, one of the twins. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So we've got two events left. Bag toss is usually a good event. Um, I've been struggling a little in training with the heavier bags, but um, if I can link it all up today, I should be able to just stay up there. The sandbag carry at the end is the one I'm not looking forward to, but it's the last event, just go out all out for it and just see what happens. So the, the goal was always just to qualify and enjoy myself. Um, where I've been out for nearly three years and watching some of these boys coming through, really wasn't sure how it was going to go. So to be sitting a point in the lead going into the last two events is a good place to be. So. Yeah, the focus has kind of switched from just qualifying now. You know, I want a, I want a fucking trophy. <laughs> yeah, so the 80 scene's really growing now, which is really good to see. Um, I mean, the weights that some of these lads are putting up now, it's, it's, getting, it's getting silly. Like, but it's, it's good to see. And um, yeah, it'd be great to see the women and the lightweights getting the recognition that all these open weight guys are getting. Um, but yeah, it's, it is good to see.
points for two. Ten seconds, Bonnie, let's get it. Come on, let's go! And time, good excellent. We just had the sandbag throw over frame. Um, it was a really heavy run, same weight as uh, the official Strongman Games has. Um, we're in that event. We had Tim Daglish, who got four bags over in 13.5 seconds. Joe was second, the other twin with four in 14.81, and then we had Josh Lancaster in third with a fast three. Um, our top two going into that event, Tommy Chivers and Lewis Blackwood, both had poor events, um, so we'll have dropped a lot of points. So. It's going to be interesting to see how the points look going into the last event. I think now, after all that, I think Tim's probably secured himself the win. Tim Dalglish, which is good, so he'll go on from being Britain's strongest man under 80 last year to being England's strongest man under 80 this year, so really good for Tim. Top five, top six, sorry, going into the last event, qualify for Brits. We have Tim Dalglish in first, Richard Molnar in second, Tommy Tippers in third, Josh Lancaster in fourth, Joe Dalglish in fifth and Tom Hume in sixth. Obviously the Twins have already qualified, so seventh and eighth will qualify as well. And at the moment we have Lewis in seventh, the Connor Cowans in eighth. But there is only like a 10 point gap from eighth down to 12th or 13th guys. And there's 21 points available on this event. So any one of like 15 guys can still qualify for Brits. All right?
210 meters, what'd you get? 90. Oh, mate. And a little bit of poo as well. It's good fun. obviously been in the top eight so all these spots now are going to be going to Brits in eighth place um, what got him there was that crazy 210 meter sab bag <laughs> carry <laughs> yeah. 
seventh place, also going to Brit, we've got Connor Cowens. <laughs> Sixth place, he's going to Brits, but he's going to be banned from the gym because Bree told him if he didn't win the overhead, he wasn't allowed back. <laughs> so, sixth place, we have Tom Hume. <laughs> Fifth place, awesome to see this guy back in the sport, look brilliant. All day, Tommy Chivers. Fourth place, just missing out on the podium spot. From back Brits, we have Joe Douglas. Third place, first podium spot. Second place, jumping over Rich after an awesome performance in the sandbag carry. Also, said pound pound the highest dumbbell. Yeah, <laughs> that means in first place after winning Brits last year, <coughs> come back from England, we have Tim Dagley. Buzzing mate, absolutely buzzing, um, couldn't have done anything more today in like a really consistent performance, I think Bobby didn't leave the top four all day really, I think second, second, a fourth, a first and top, I think fourth on, on the last event or something, so yeah, buzzing with that, good points accumulation over the whole day, felt really good, um, yeah, bring on Brits, come on! <laughs> 